second, okay? Now, Batman is an intelligent cat, no doubt. And he is a damn good fighter. I'll give you that. But he's just human. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Now, Wolverine is a flat-out animal when he fights. And he's got the skills to pay the bills. He's got unbreakable adamantum bones, razor-sharp, retractable adamantum claws. He's got mutant healing powers. He's a badass, no doubt. He would kill Batman. I'm sorry. Every time. <laughs> but in a straight-up brawl, Sarah, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know who's going to take home all the cookies if Superman's involved. It's going to be the big blue Boy Scout every time, no doubt. So he would tear Wolverine's head off. He would tear Batman's head off and use them like Kanan Kanan. Kanan. Just, what real? What the fuck? God. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's jump into reality then. You, you want to talk about reality? Let's talk about real fights. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, you like that? Yeah, dog. Why? I don't know. It's kind of like fucking, you know? It's just fun. It's fun? What's so fun about it? I can't explain it, y'all. You know you don't. I guess that's fair enough. What do you think about fights, Lyle? I mean, I think you're an expert on this subject. He's totally an expert. Just that kid from the school, man. 52 stitches, broken arm, hey, shut the jaws fuck up, wired man. shut, made it every scene. Hey! Again. Shut the fuck up. You want to talk about it? There's nothing to say. Certainly had something to say on that day. I mean, don't you think that's why you're here? I don't know why I'm here. You tell me, because I feel fine. Please, if you were fine, you wouldn't be sitting here. Why don't you just tell us what happened so we could stop assuming? I mean, what, did you just freak out? You know, it's not a big deal. I did that one time. I took a hammer and I smashed all the windows on the minivan. No, I had a reason. I don't just do shit for no reason. Well, what was your reason? It's none of your fucking business. Well, you know, I sure can't make you tell me, Lyle. But I would really like to know what you think justifies hurting someone to the point where you almost kill them. I'm just curious how someone as seemingly intelligent as you could hurt another human being that bad and have no remorse for it whatsoever. He deserved it. Well, I bet Chris Woods would say differently if his jaw wasn't wired shut. What did he say? He said something mean. My, uh, my dad beat me up a few times when I was a kid. And uh, this guy, Chris, knew about it. He thought it was really funny. Now he doesn't think it's so funny. If you say you wouldn't do the same thing, you're fucking lying. You're just a pussy. Do you remember your dad, Lyle? Yeah. How'd you feel about him? Did you love him? He's my dad. No feeling one way or the other, just a genetic bond? My mom never hits me. She just is always saying really, really horrible things to me. It sounds kind of stupid next to Lyle's, but... If anyone said anything about it, I'd want to hurt them, too. That's not stupid. Go ahead, say more about that, Trace. She tells me how stupid I am, how I'm a slut, and she wishes I wasn't born. <laughs> Anyways, I kind of understand what Lyle means. Really, none of anybody else's business. I wasn't sure if that was a bird or that crazy dude over there. <laughs> I could have been saying. <laughs> That's what they say about all of us. <laughs> and see you at night.
It's like I'm surrounded with badness, like an aura or something. And here. It happens everywhere. Did you get raped? If you want someone to kill him, I'll do it. Thanks. I'm scared of you sometimes. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I'm, I'm scared of myself sometimes. This one time, um, my mom and I were like in a fight. We were yelling at each other, and like she was standing like with her back to a. Uh, to a cabinet in the kitchen, and I just... I kind of, like, punched through it. You know, beside her. I don't want to do that. And she started crying. She said, you look just like him. Boom. I'm just like standing right in front of myself, except it's not totally me. And I look down and I'm holding like this badass knife and it's all like sharp and everything and clean. I can like see myself in it. And all of a sudden, like Chad too turns around and takes off running. So I like, take off after him and then I get him and I fucking jump on him and I pounce on his ass and I like get him down on the ground. And now he's got a knife too. And so I'm just like. There's fucking blood all over the place. And uh, he smiles at me. And all the blood goes back in his body. And all, like, the stab wounds, like, all close up and shit. He gives me a second to catch my breath. Takes off running again. So I go after him again. Stab him, like, 200 times. Cuts all close up. Blood all goes away. I just know it's going to go on forever. That's it. Wow. What do you guys think it means? I think it means Chad needs to be on 24-hour watch. <laughs> it means your shit is fucked up. No. Yeah. That's not what it means. What does it mean, Lyle? It means nothing changes. Well, things change all the time. Yeah, well, you have a problem, you fix it. And you get another problem, you fix that. Then another problem, you fix that. It's like this place, you know what I'm saying? You get out, you come back. You get out, you come back. It's true. Same shit just keeps happening over and over, and then we die. That's just the way it is. Is, is that the consensus? <laughs> okay, look, let's cut to it. I want each of you to tell me something right now that gives your life meaning. Something that excites you, that, 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 that turns you on, that, that you find value in. Anything but drugs. I don't want to hear any drug stories. Anybody can jump in. Sarah, please help me out. I'm dying over here. Um, freedom. Doing whatever you want and 
I'm not giving a fuck what people think. Okay. Play PlayStation. Any particular game you like? I like Resident Evil too. Anything where you can use your imagination, right? That could give your life meaning. Just keeping it real, you know what I'm saying? Looking out for my boys and fucking the punks who get in the way. So friendship, camaraderie. Yeah. For love. Love. Thank you, Tracy. Boom. Okay. Love. It's very important. Sex is meaningful. You've had sex? <laughs> what about you, Lyle? What gives your life meaning? So, what kind of progress do you feel you've made since you... Come on, man, give me a break. You know I gotta ask this. I've learned how to jerk off with little no privacy. So, Sarah, what kind of progress do you feel you've made since you've been here? Fine progress. Big Mike. My nigga. Yeah. What's going on? So, what kind of progress do you think you've made since you've been here, buddy? Just banging, yo. You're gonna turn 18 in a couple days. It means you're gonna be responsible for yourself, more or less. How do you feel about that? Great. Is this what you think being black is, Michael? Wearing baggy clothes and talking a lot of shit, fucking up. Can I get out of here this week or what? You getting along with Lyle, okay? So what kind of progress do you think you've made since you've been here, Lyle? Well, I'm recommending that you go home Friday. Good. So what kind of progress do you think you've made since you've been here? None whatsoever. What? You think you're the only one who's ever been fucking depressed? Look, this is freedom. You see these birds? They're flying away. I mean, look at the color. How can you call it suicidal? Because he killed himself right after he painted it? You have no idea the kind of color that can come out of depression. All the great artists are fucked up. Blue fucking who? Look at the birds. Look at, look at the sky. Look at the yellow. This painting, it, it has borders. It ends here, 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 and here. All paintings are like that. So what? You're just saying what you want to see. That's it. That road is going nowhere. Do your dad buy you a lot of things? My dad's dead. Do you have a stepdad? What? My stepdad's coming tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. Is he cool? He buys me stuff sometimes. Getting PlayStation 2. Cool. Cool. My dad, uh... Well, I, uh, I broke my arm pretty badly and I had to go to the hospital um, for a few days. He came and picked me up. And, uh... He drove me right to the bike store. 